In this quick tip, we are going to discuss how to make this anime shader from scratch. So let's get started. In this scene, I'm going to make a new material. I'm an Eevee as well. I'm going to switch this out with an emission shader and control T. I'm going to actually switch this out for a wave texture. And I want to duplicate this, plug this UV into here. Let's push this out a little bit. And for my textures, I want a wave. I also want a Voronoi texture. Add a few color ramps here and here. I want the distance, and I'm going to plug this color ramp into here and duplicate this. Now, bring this a little bit over, plug this in. So you can see we have the wave, and this is what the Voronoi looks like. So I want to combine these and I want basically two masks. So I'm going to do a mix node in here, make this a mask and just push this down a little bit into RGB, RGB. I've chosen my colors here, so I want this to be a light brown. I want this to be a dark brown. Plug these colors into this socket. Duplicate this this socket into here. I want to duplicate this as well, except I want to feed this mask into this one. And now plug this into this mix. So I now have both masks in here. I'm going to add one more mask, or mix node that is and change this to multiply. And I'm gonna unplace this here, place this here. So I have all of these spread out. Let's make this a little more organized. And so let's adjust some of the settings. So I have this at three. And for this wave texture, I had this at eight. I had this at negative uh, e divided by at five. Let's do that. And now we need to adjust these masks and place a bunch of points in here. Change the grayscale value of a few of them. Let's do one more shader. Let's do it fuse BSDF and plug this into this multiply. Switch these out, sorry. And do a shader to RGB. Do another color ramp. Make this constant. Flip the color ramp, or rather, sorry, just move this value here. And we need to adjust a few more aspects. I'm gonna plug this color ramp into here. 
and make this one constant. Bring this value here. Bring the black over here. Bring this in, turn it to a grayscale value. Not that, go to this, turn the value down to like 0.2. And a few more adjustments. The values I had in the initial shader were this. 90, 90, and you can see now we're getting a little more detail. Let's adjust this as well. Just the angle. And you can see we already have that wood look. I want a few more adjustments here. Like I'm gonna bring this to constant and bring this in. And that should about achieve the look that I'm going for. Apply it to a few more. You can see it pretty well on here actually. So I encourage you to change a few of these settings, maybe change a few of these textures, and even change these values. Mess with some of these masks if you're not happy with the way it looks in certain parts. But that is the general shading technique. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.